Hello, my name is Faye Tugood. I'm a designer uh, from Studio Tugood. Studio Tugood is a creative direction and a creative consultancy um, that provides interiors, and now we're doing product. Um, we're in the supernatural space, which we've done for this year's London Design Festival, uh, based around foraging, collecting, and observing in the English countryside. As you come in, you've got Mrs. T, and Mrs. T is foraging for mushrooms. She's the only person that has a license to pick mushrooms in the new forest. Uh, she's come today to tell us all about her expertise and all about the mushrooms that are available in the space. Um, her background is she was actually arrested for picking mushrooms, which I think is kind of fantastic. Um, she also was a Pan Am air stewardess, um, so she gets full respect from me. Um, as you come in, you can also see uh, our new and first collection um, of objects, Assemblage One. Um, this is really, for me, about creating a collection of objects that have been handmade in, in England, um, using English craftsmen and English materials. We've also had a lot of people foraging um, and coming in and being very excited about um, what we're doing here. So one lady today, she brought me in an apple from her garden in, in London. So I think uh, really we're, we've got such a fantastic response to this idea of caring about where your food comes from. So we had uh, Arabesque Delate and La Fourmagerie come and do our cafe in space. The Brambles Cafe is really about providing um, natural wild food from the English countryside. So everything at the moment is exactly, you know, has been picked and it has been taken from, from the countryside. It's, it's the right ingredients for the right season. Arabesque Delate are particularly good at putting together um, a space that has great flavour and has great fun about it and I think um, I'm very happy to be working with them again. So I grew up in the countryside, the English countryside, in the smallest county in England, Rutland, and I spent many days um, collecting wildflowers, going on walks with my parents, my dad's an ornithologist, so bird watching was compulsory. And, um, and also looking and foraging for mushrooms, picking mushrooms. And I think obviously when I was 16, 17, I couldn't wait to get to the city, escape the boredom of that. But as I get older and the longer I'm in London, I understand the principles behind the countryside and they're coming, coming back to me. So I don't necessarily want to live in the countryside, but I want, I want to, to bring back some of those um, principles and the integrity that the countryside brings and the understanding that uh, we really need to care about our, our country and we really need to look after our countryside. So I think you can still be glamorous and appreciate the countryside. <laughs>